So what's the state of like uh, sculpture, like uh, contemporary stone sculpture in Zimbabwe at the moment? At the moment, the the business is very low. It's, it's very sad because politics is affecting the, the tourism industry because we are we are also in the tourism industry. Mainly the people who buy our stones, they are mainly tourists and foreigners because they are also not that cheap. The, the art is not cheap at all. So you find out that uh, locals, they, they appreciate art, but maybe they can't afford to buy. So that's why we face this challenge of not having tourists in the country because of our state of the uh, political state. But uh, yeah, artists are, are, are struggling a lot because there are these challenges of getting the capital to get the stones and then we have to buy the tools. We also use uh, machinery like grinders. We buy the blades and everything. And we buy the sending papers. Yeah. And then we have to wait until we sell something to get something out of it. So how, how much do you feel needs to be done to support uh, the sculpture industry at the moment? Yeah. Uh, I think the government is doing very little. But I think they should improve on uh, like we have the National Gallery uh, in Zimbabwe. They must also look at uh, ways to promote artists, us, like we must access the stones easily because it's, it's, we are locals. But then the process is not, it's not that smooth to get the stones to come here. There are some documents which are required, which we, we feel that it's, it's like, because what they do is they, they categorize the stones under uh, minerals so they require us to have a mining permit of which it's, it's something that we feel it's, it's not we don't deserve it because we are artists and we are doing something for the country we are putting Zimbabwe on the map and so I think the government should look into us and then try to make sure that our process is smooth uh, as much as possible yeah and what are some of the contemporary themes like in sculpture? Is the there a shift from like uh, the first generation to the new generation of sculptures? The uh, is there like, you said the like, face? Uh, themes like themes. The, uh, in contemporary yeah. sculpture. Mm. What are some of the contemporary themes? Yeah, the the contemporary art now people don't do contemporary sculptures that much because it's now a fusion of modern art and contemporary art if you want to classify it that way but uh, it's still contemporary art in the sense that it's Shona art yeah and like uh, before they were men turning into a rhino uh, the kind of uh, folk folklore oriented kind of is, yeah. is, is this still happening with the new themes that are, that are emerging yeah yeah the new themes now people are coming up with new themes but what happens is that because we are also, we learned from these guys, the, the, or the first generation artists, the sculptors, the first generation, they were doing contemporary art. Art like uh, they were turning, many turning into a rhino, rhino spirit, mermaid, water spirit, those thing, kind of things. Yeah, because they were inspired during that time to make those things. So the inspiration now is different because we, we, we now live in a, like a concrete jungle now because if you go back to those times when these first generation sculptors were working mainly the life was stable but now we have a, a lot of uh, bad things happening in our life we faced a lot of challenge 2008 was a big challenge for the artists and now the politics is affecting so the mind now is 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 more mainly targeting on, on what sells fast. You get what I'm saying? It's not like we don't do contemporary, we do. But we feel that now people appreciate modern art. And then, yeah, we can make something abstract, we can make smooth edges, nice finishing. But if you go back to contemporary art, it was just, um, <clears throat> the art was obscured in, sto in a stone. But it was beautiful, so some of the themes yourself personally, there are some of the themes in your art. 
you have particular themes? I do myself. Yeah, you have particular themes like yourself in your art, like maybe love, women, animals, I, uh, social myself, issues. Yeah, myself I do with all, all issues. I also do with social issues. But I mainly deal with um, <coughs> the environment. Yeah. What we see around, things that go on around us. And uh, that's what inspires me to make something. Okay. Anything else probably that I might have left out that man, people probably they don't know about, you know, like Zimbabwean uh, sculpture. I do feel that I mean there's something that people don't know about Zimbabwean sculpture. As a young person, actually, it's actually interesting as a young person. Yeah, because I think there's something that people don't really appreciate, like the community here. Because they don't want to teach their kids to come into sculpting because they think that sculpting is, um, is, is dirty because we are working mainly with dust. So, yeah. But ourselves as artists, of course, we, our kids, naturally, they some of them become artists, but the community, the society is, is ignorant about it. They don't want to, to take their kids into sculpting. 